Hey, and welcome to another update from Flame Systems. I'm James Mullins, the CTO and founder of Flame. Flame developed the world's first multi-sensory virtual reality immersive learning solution for training firefighters in hazardous and complex emergency situations. Flame's virtual firefighter training enables emergency service personnel to train more, learn more, and be better prepared for real life fire hazards. At Flame, we are committed to continually improving our training experiences by innovating additional hardware and developing scenarios that are increasingly realistic and relevant to our customers' training needs. I'm delighted to share the highlights of our third software release for 2021 and say thanks to our customers in the Flame community for your feedback and requests. You are the source from which our improvements evolve. In the last quarter, our development team has dedicated over 4,000 hours improving and adding to our virtual scenarios. We've added significant improvements to the realism of our smoke and fire, especially in compartments. We've improved the realism of neutral planes and their response to different ventilation techniques. We've introduced uh, more realistic smoke to ensure visibility challenges more closely reflect the real world, so our firefighters will find themselves down on the floor more often. We've introduced search and rescue with casualties in random scenarios, and we'll continue to add these in the future. And finally, we've added a pole top fire with arcing and sparking electrical wires so that firefighters can suppress the fire by pulsing and lobbing. But the use of a continuous direct stream will result in uh, a negative outcome or electrocution. A really exciting update to Flame Trainer is the introduction of the Fire Station VR Lobby, where firefighters in training wait while instructors initiate scenarios. Firefighters can practice teleporting, fire attack skills, and when the emergency call is received, they'll be able to read a description of the job, much like in real life. Our Flame Extinguisher platform has seen additional updates, including air ambulance, food truck fires, and a lab-based scenario. We've added a new scenario demonstrating a really interesting product called PV Stop to neutralize solar panels and protect firefighters during response to structural fires exposed to uh, solar panels. With the completion of this release, we now have 60 flame trainer firefighter scenarios and 46 extinguisher training scenarios being used by more than 100 customers in 30 countries and delivered in more than 28 languages. To our partners around the world, thank you. Your feedback and support has been amazing. We'll continue to innovate and provide the best virtual immersive training opportunities possible and we really can't do it without you. To that end, we'll soon be launching a Flame feedback portal and forum that will enable you to share your learning lessons, plans, and suggest and vote on upcoming features. Please keep an eye on your inbox for an invite. Our team has grown significantly over the past few months and you might be hearing from some of our new faces soon. Please introduce yourselves. And as always, we love hearing feedback from the fire services around the world. Thank you again. 